This is a mid 4 inch refractor. I have uh, used it on its own mount, it's a go-to mount. I never try to actually use the go-to. Go-to's are miss, uh, go and, you know, uh, hit and miss. Uh, it's practically not very reliable. You cannot just take it and, you know, go and observe. You have to align it with twister. They're not very intelligent. Mead has not changed this technology since, God knows, 1980s. We have now passed uh, almost 25 years, 30 years since that was introduced. So, uh, there are other telescopes which actually can do it now with the GPS. They easily do it. Easy. You don't need even to set it up or anything. You just open it and they will find uh, the objects for you. So, I have to use it on an altazimuth mount. I want to use it on a, uh, on a German equatorial mount. So, it was not possible. The, uh, there is no dovetail attached to it. You need tube rings for this. You have to buy the tube ring. That will cost. I don't want to pay more than whatever I paid. I bought it for £50, the whole thing. The whole box of the equipment of, uh, it comes with this. Uh, about second hand, as usual. And uh, now I have found, invented a way, actually, you can use a dovetail with two cable ties. Instead of two rings, you can use two vehicle cable ties and uh, some fluffy material, some uh, fluffy material that you can use with the chairs uh, to line them before putting the fabric. So I'm going to use it. It takes very quick and then if you'll be ready to use it. The reason I'm using this is because I don't want dovetail scratch the tube. And I, I don't use fabric. I've tested fabric, other fabrics. You cannot rotate the tube inside the, uh, when it is uh, attached to the dovetail to change to the convenient position for observing. So this material is really perfect. I get it from a charity shop, so it's really easy and good. And this is the last bit of it I have. I have the two bits that they were not the right size. So I cut them, put them together, and I will use them as, as such. Okay, this is the end result. As you can see, it took me really less than two minutes, and uh, it's ready now. I'm going now to put it on the Sky T2 uh, Altazimut mount. Okay, this is the mid uh, four inch refractor 102 and now I'm going to observe with it. I've installed the dovetail bar attached to it. You can rotate the telescope too according to the position I want to keep the focuser. And uh, first thing is first removing the cap. This is a nice optic, look at the coating of it. I'm looking forward to observing this. I'm using the Celestron 26mm silver top plus hole. It's a multi coated, and you can see the color of the multi coating. So, I have used this eyepiece with the other telescope, which I use this same technique for the dovetail bar and ring with the cable tie. So, for the sake of consistency and the field of view being comparable, I'm using this again. I will be lo uh, looking at this. Uh, street light and I will show you the result. Let's see how is the view. A wide field of view. And that was a view to the fossil eyepiece and the uh, mid 4 inch refractor. Um, I don't expect this uh, telescope to be aberration free, but if, if it is, I will be delighted. Uh, so far, the coating, everything looks lovely. Of course, the focus and uh, things, other things look plastic, made of plastic. So and um, we will see we don't uh, they have nothing to do with the actual observation just durability uh, the telescope is made for use by the you know young people and so uh, they wanted to make it cheap and uh, available to the 
bigger audience.